Let's see here. Fire extinguisher, sand, shovel, axe and hammer. Good. We're now sorted for when Virtual Dagwin sets fire to the house. Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So I'm really looking forward to today's episode because we're not only going to be harvesting the sugar beet, but we're also going to be putting it into a silage pit. Well, a beet pit. Uh, we're going to ferment it, which is something I've never done before. The reason for fermenting it is so we can convert it into pig food. Now we can actually just give sugar beet to the pigs, but this is going to fulfill every requirement. Okay, here we are over at the store. So first things first, we need to buy the sugar beet harvester, which is just here. We're going to get it used so we can save a bit of money. We're gonna to have to spend a bit of money on fixing it though, but that is fine. The saving is still worth it. And then all the headers here look the same. And obviously this is a different language, which I'm not sure about. So I don't know what it says, but this one here has got a symbol of sugar beet. So I'm hoping this is the one to go for. It does say, prepare it so maybe that's just a topper i'm not too sure if it lifts it but we will find out we're going to buy that used as well and then we're going to get a trailer now we do have a trailer already but this one here just caught my eye it looks quite good you can increase the capacity but as you can see it's more for silage you might be able to get away with putting beet in there it increases the capacity substantially as well I don't know, I don't think we should do, even though we probably could do. Uh, so we'll go for those wheels and we'll get that used. And we might fix it up. I, I don't know if it's going to be worth fixing it up. We will see. But yes, I'm hoping this all goes to plan. So that's cost us £47,504. To start with, I'm just going to take the trailer back to the farm. We will come back for the sugar beet harvester. But yeah, that, that's a good trailer. It's going to be useful. As for placing the sugar beet pit, we'll do that when we have the first trailer load ready. Everything here at the farm is sorted, so the greenhouse is happy to continue for many hours. There's nothing else to do, I don't think, so we can just get straight into the harvesting over the field. Uh, now, if for whatever reason this harvester seems not right for what we want it for, uh, which would be surprising, but then we can just change it. But yeah, I'm really hoping it's going to be good. So I'm just going to park this over here. I have never used it before, so I don't know how long it takes to fill or how fast it is. So there it is. Or how loud it is for that matter. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. The volume. Okay, which is the front? This is the front here, so fit onto there, I'm guessing. Hopefully it works. Ah, oh, there we go. Right. To the field. Of course, when I say to the field, I actually mean to the workshop. We need to get this thing fixed up. I like the brush and the fuel tank on the side here. You can see just in the bottom of the cab. The fuel tank seems to be outside. Um, right, so we'll park there. And we shall get that fixed up. £192 and £29. Not bad. So providing I have the correct header, this should all work. Yeah, it's quite a saving buying used. And realistic too, because it's quite clearly not a new machine. Being able to select second hand is nice. It, it just makes it feel better when you're buying it. So we will start probably at this end of the field. This is gonna be a big job, no doubt about it. So um, yeah, we're just gonna have to see how we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll start square. And we'll begin. Yes, it works. 
Not that I really doubted it. It's just I've never used it before. And that's left it really clean. That's brilliant. Okay, this is exactly why I left the borders. Because uh, when I was planting the field, I haven't planted it like you would a wheat crop, for example. Because you need all this space to turn around. Six miles per hour, maximum speed. As I said before, we do actually have the mod which allows you to select a higher gear. So we could go faster if we wanted to. I tend to go faster in the time lapses. Because if you do make a time lapse too long, I find it just gets a bit hard to watch. So, yeah, I tend to increase the vehicle speed. But that's not bad. And it will become easier the further into the field we get because it obviously gets longer. It's a tapered field. No, I'm enjoying this. It's actually a really good mod. Brilliant. Right, so I'm going to keep going until we're full. When we're full, I will show you the unloading. Uh, the capacity of it seems to be something like 10,000 litres. Maybe 10 to 12,000. Uh, so, yeah, well, we should be able to get a good chunk done. But that is not bad. I'm pleased this mod exists. It would have been quite tricky without it. We are full. So if you do become full, then it continues to top, and yeah, it, it just doesn't lift anymore. So that's pretty good. That's really nice. So I am yet to know exactly what all the other headers do. Maybe they're for different crop types, I really don't know. Um, but this is all we need. Fantastic. So we should be able to get one and a bit loads of uh, the harvest joint here. Actually no, almost two loads. And then we can do a bit of landscaping in the yard to get the sugar beet pit positioned. And now you may ask the question, are we going to sell any sugar beets at all? Or is it all going to be converted into pig food? Well, I think the pigs are going to play a big part uh, in this series now. According to my viewers, I only bought four pigs originally. I can't remember. It was I've made so many videos since then. but. Yeah, if, if we only bought four, and we now have as many as we've got over there, I don't know exactly how many we have, 40, then I think we, we've done something right. So we need to expand. We need to set up a big pig farm, probably in this piece of grass here, or maybe over the far side. Haven't decided fully yet, but uh, yes, they're the things which um, which I think we should do like a proper pig farm with buildings and everything. So yes, I think we are going to be turning the whole field into pig food. I don't think we're going to be selling anything. But we'll see. I think there is a limit to how much you can put in a pit, so if we reach the limit, we'll sell the rest. I think that's the safest thing to say. Anyway, yep, crack on. See how much we can get done.
Well, that is the tapered section removed. It's going to make it much easier now to harvest the rest of the field. And you'll have noticed that I did bring the other trailer across just to make it easier. If we have two empty trailers to go at, it's just going to speed things up. So, yeah, I don't know, maybe about halfway, just less than halfway. Let's head over to the yard and we will start preparing the area for the sugar beet pit. It's going to take a while to get used to saying that. It's always a silage pit. Right. Yeah, do you like this trailer? Very much so. I'm guessing it is like a, an 18 ton trailer. Looks very heavy. So we do have a lot of grass growing over here. I did harvest it once, or cut it once. I think I'm just going to keep it like this now as we start to develop things. So if I just jump into the landscaping tool, we can, uh, we'll do the graveling afterwards, but first of all, we just want to figure out exactly where things are going. So I think probably the best place to have the pit is going to be over here, because uh, it sort of keeps it out of the way. And if we're going to have a pig farm here, we'll put that here. So yeah, I don't know how big this pit is. Let's just take a look. I would imagine it's about the same size as the one which we've got, the silage pit. Oh yeah, it's tiny. Uh, so that is fine. That would be good. Just there, I suppose. We don't have to drive all the way through. I don't want to be over the border, because, yeah. That could really mess things up. Okay. So this will be quite simple. If we just change this tool to a square and then put in a gravel extension. Let's just see where it is, there we go. Um, yeah, so we'll just do this, I think. Simple. Uh, maybe it's worth putting a curve on, make it look a bit more natural. Not really a curve, but yes, we're going to be developing this whole area, so eventually it will look more natural. Now, from what I can understand, you can't level it. You can compact it, but you can't smooth it out. So it is very important that I dump this in a good way. We do still compact it, but yes, it doesn't auto-smooth or auto level. Right, so yeah that's good. If we just keep it nice and even, we don't want any mountains. It should be relatively simple to do this. Maybe it would have been better just to create a big part in the back and then work forwards, I really don't know. Uh, but the thing is, I'm just trying to think about it, because we, we do need to still drive over it. Um, Anyway, let's go and get the second trailer, and then we can continue harvesting the field. It would be good to have a trailer on this side and a trailer sort of in the middle. I think I'm going to go straight down the middle of this massive chunk. That would be the easiest way of going about things. Then we've always got a trailer fairly nearby. Yes, this one is 14,500 litres. Uh, we could put the silage extensions on, but I just don't think it's what we should do. And it won't be too many loads. It's not like hundreds of loads. It's just a lot of loads for the area, which is why sugar beet is good. When one of my viewers told me about this, I was just so amazed because they said, "Oh, if you're going to do sugar beet, you might as well ferment it for pig food." And initially, I thought, "What? <laughs> Why would somebody say that? How, how do you do that?" So I looked into it. And they're right, you, you really can ferment sugar beet for pig food. So it's amazing, it, without my viewers, I would be so far behind with Farming Simulator. The help which I get from from you and, and everybody is just astounding. It just goes to show how diverse Farming Simulator is as well, thanks to the modders. 
it's amazing the different mods that are out there. Uh, okay, yes, I really do like this area. I think it looks good. Right, let's continue harvesting the sugar beet. I'll just put this one over here for now because we need to uh, drive it down the centre. Right, so that is the load put into there. That was almost a full harvester load. So we're going to be taking the trailers again very soon. Uh, now, there is a, a chance that I'm actually incorrect about it fulfilling every requirement, but I'm fairly sure that it does do. I think it's just classed as standard pig food once it comes out of the silage pit, uh, sugar beet pit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's um, open to debate, I suppose. When it says pig food silo, it must just be pig food. So when you put it into their trough, it will count as corn, sugar beet, and then the different grains which are required. Right, so I'm fairly confident that in this next time lapse we'll get this field almost finished. So I will see you in roughly a minute's time. We have a lot of work to do. And that pit is going to be very full by the end of it, which is what makes me think that we're not actually going to be putting it on the pit. I think it's going to, some of it's going to go to the uh, the store. Which is also good. Getting some money in today will be nice. Uh, yeah, it, it's getting there, and the pace that it's harvesting at is fine. Uh, it's just, I think I have underestimated how much land we actually have here. It is a big area. But there is no rush. However, I'm sticking with the idea of not putting it all in the pit. I don't think it's all going to fit. And I might have spilt some out the side, I'm not too sure. It looks like it's out of the pit area. So we'll finish this section and then we'll go and sort it out, see if it's ready to ferment. It's already something like 60,000 litres. And 60,000 litres of pig food is quite a bit. So I think maybe the rest should be sold. <laughs> uh, right, so we're almost full once again. Pull that there. And we'll position the John Deere underneath. Whilst we go and tip the bigger trailer. Yeah, it's, it's surprising how quickly you can fill a trailer. But we have harvested more than half. We have done about uh, getting to two thirds, I think, almost two thirds done. The bridge is a fantastic shortcut. I am so pleased I put this in. Oh, and this pallet, which has been getting in the way the whole time, that needs to be put in a drill. But there's no point putting it in the drills we currently have, since we are going to sell them and replace them with one bigger drill. They've been great though. 
yeah, it is looking, it's looking full. We do have leakage. The other good thing about putting gravel here is we don't feel like we're driving in a field when we're putting the manure in the pit, in the uh, fill point. Somehow I need to drive up on here. I'm not too sure how. Maybe if we have a bucket to push it around. I'm not too sure if that would work. Uh, let's just see. If I try and drive up on top of it. We can enter from the other side. So we don't have to go over that big mountain. So it's only 2% compacted and it doesn't get any smoother. So this is going to be good fun, which is the exact reason why I tried to make it as smooth as possible. But clearly I have now made it fairly mountainous. But that is fine, that's 80,000 litres. We'll go with that. Yeah, it's going to take forever to compact. So I might as well say... See you in a minute. For me, about 15. Well, I've been going for a while and we're only 16% compacted. I'm going to have to get some dual wheels. I don't know if we could put double wheels on the John Deere. If we can do, that might help. I still don't know the exact way that the pit works, but I'm fairly sure it has something to do with the wheels and the wheel, the number of wheels. It always seems to make a difference. So we'll leave that trailer there for now, and we'll just tidy up here. Oh, that's back in the tractor again. Yeah, we'll just make sure this section which I've, I've been working on is as tidy as possible. I like how um, there always seems to be more birds about whenever I've done some harvesting. I'm not sure if it's just a coincidence, it might be. But they were even all over the pit when I was uh, dumping some sugar beet in that time lapse. They were absolutely covering the pit and they were nowhere else. So I don't know if that was just random, but it just seemed quite clever the way that happened okay so I think we are done here for now not bad progress though because yeah if I would stuck with the original speed at 6 miles per hour it would have taken even longer going to 10 miles per hour did help so I will dump this trailer in there as well But then I'm, I'm just really hoping we can get some double wheels. Try and compact it faster. Because it does seem to be a fairly big job. Yeah, as it turns out, there's actually loads of space back here. We, we don't own this land, but we can still drive here to, uh, to access the back of the pit. And we should be able to fill in that crater. If we can fill that in, it might make it easier to compact. That's better. Much better. Right, to the workshop. That's going to make it so much easier. Yeah, I think there's just a lot of birds around this area. So, what do we have? What kind of options? I'm pretty sure there is a dual wheel. Ah, yes, good. Twin wheels. Brilliant. Expensive. Well, it's actually not expensive, but uh, for us, it's not exactly cheap. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, yes, yeah, so we don't need the trailer anymore. Automatically detached. Not too sure if the weight will help. We'll put it on. Yeah, this looks like a fantastic compacting machine. There's no reason why it should be as slow as it was before. Because the Fiat isn't a very big tractor. So we've got diff lock. Right, compacting 16%. 17. If it was 1% for forwards and 1% for backwards, that'd be good. 18. If we can get to 19, that's good. 
Yes, so it is. It's, it's approximately 1% for every direction we go. So, still a big job, but nowhere near as painful as it was before. Yeah, this is much faster. And it's also a bumpy ride. Whoa. Okay, so, um, yeah, because we don't have the levelling, it's going to remain bumpy. It's like a fairground ride. Okay, almost there. That is not something you'd want to do in real life. Probably shake the tractors a bit. 98%. Uh, hopefully 100% by the time we get to the end. End of here. There we go. Brilliant. So, do we just throw a cover over like always? We do. And yeah, as suspected, that was outside. But it might still be included. Possibly. Unlikely. I think it does tend to be covered over. Uh, so, yeah, we'll wait and see what this is like. If this is spilt, we'll just put it in next time, go again. Uh, but that is 90,000 and something litres of pig food. Pig food is so expensive. So there we go. We're going to leave it there for today. We'll finish the sugar beet field in the next episode, if the price is right. But until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.